Okay, Lucy Squad, so we are ready for another toning session from my Tone Every Zone. Now, what is really important as your personal trainer is I want to make sure you have warmed up first. So that could just be something as simple as marching on the spot for one minute. So once you've done that, I'm ready to start toning you and today's workout is all about the abs. Okay, before we start, you might need to press pause because what you will need for today's workout are either two tins or cans, or you could even simply just use water bottles. Okay, so you're gonna come down onto your back, and what I want you to do is just place the tins where your feet would be, then extend the legs up, and we're just gonna do 20 reps like this. So you are just aiming to lower that leg down so the foot just touches that tin or can. And the reason being here is it's at that point, that 45 degree angle and lower is where it is most challenging for the abdominals and then we just draw that back up. So the key thing here is keep those tummy muscles really tight. Because we're doing it with a fully extended leg, it is really challenging. So if that feels too hard on your back, you can actually do this with bent legs. So we're, we then in effect have a slightly shorter lever Okay, well done, that's good. So really focus here on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in tight as you lower that down. So we're working deep into those core muscles. Okay, that's good. And lower, lift that up. And keeping this nice and slow and controlled, lowering that leg down to the ground or to that tin, and then drawing that back up. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna come round. Now what I want you to do is place your tins. They need to be in line with your hips and about six inches or so away. So just take your time to come into position, then cross the legs, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach round with that hand. So by having the tins there, it's just encouraging you to take that slightly bigger range of motion. Now what this is doing now, we are working into the external and internal obliques, which just means now we're really gonna focus and drawing in those waist muscles. So we reach that sound round to the side and back. That's good. And I'm really big on this with all my workouts. I always like to do lots of twists and rotations because that's what actually sculpts the body and kind of makes us smaller and more toned and defined. All right, that's good. Reaching that round, keeping that going. And just by having the legs up here, it just means then we're stabilizing through the hips. Okay, that's good. Keeping that going. All right, so now we're going to turn around. We're going to come up to sitting. And again, the tins sort of stay in the same place. This time now with the arms, you're just going to reach round. Um, if you need to, just sit a little bit further forwards, and that just means you're having to reach back slightly further. We're just doing 20 reps, and this one now is really working into those waist muscles again. And the further you lean back, the more challenging that is on those tummy muscles, but what is really important, just make sure you are keeping your belly button pulled in really tight to your spine for me. Okay, let's keep going. You're doing really well. That's good. All right. Excellent. Okay, so we are going to do that all again. So we're going to come back to your start position. So you want to place your tins so they would be where your feet are. We're going to get ready to extend the legs up. Um, make sure you, that's it, we lower that down to the ground and back. Okay, so we're doing 20 reps. Now, while you're doing this, just remember, so many clients say to me, how can I get like flat abs? You know what? Abs are one of the hardest areas to work, but you know what? Toning is good, but it is very much about hip training. It's about doing the aerobic stuff as well as really focusing on good nutrition. What this will do is tone those underlying muscles, but what's important, make sure we don't carry excess body fat on the abs, and we do that by hip training and by a healthy diet. Okay, well done. Let's keep going. So tummy stays nice and tight. That's good. So keep that going. But obviously, this really helps. It's all three things. It's doing the cardio, which is the hip training. It's doing the toning. And really importantly, it is focusing on good nutrition. Okay, well done. That's good. All right, so let's now come around. So we're going to have the um, tins to the side, either side, and you're going to lie back down. You're going to extend both legs up, and you can have a slight bend in the legs. And now reach round out to the side. And so we're keeping the head and shoulders consistently off the floor with this one. We're just doing 20 reps each side. And again with this one, you know, if you do this more than once during the week or something, if you're tempted to carry on doing these, 
To make it harder, what you can do is just simply take those tins further away from your body. It just means then you're having to work that bigger range of motion. Okay, you're doing really well, so let's keep going. And also it's important to keep those tummy muscles really pulled in nice and tight so you can feel where you're toning. Side to side, reaching that round. That's good. Okay, nearly done. Not going. <clears throat> All right, so let's now come up to sitting. So we're going to work into those waist muscles again and just reach round. So try and take that hand round as far as you can so you feel that twist through, the, through those tummy muscles. And also make sure, because you're leaning back, that we're not putting any pressure on the back. And you're going to do that by just fully engaging those core muscles by keeping your belly button tight to your spine. Good, keep that going, we're nearly done. And really feel that working, you know, focus, visualize how we're making those tummy muscles tighter. Okay, so well done, that is your workout complete. But remember, if you didn't find it challenging, you know what I always say, you can just simply repeat that routine again because it is important to always make sure at the end of every workout that you have felt challenged. Um, once you have felt challenged, which you might find that just doing that routine that we've just done now is adequate for you, so that's perfect. But what is really important once you have finished is in one of these corners up here, there will be a link to my um, cool down stretches just follow those because what that helps to do is it just kind of realigns the body and it just makes sure you don't have any really um too much muscle soreness the following day um and also make sure you drink plenty of water and then as your trainer you can be accountable to me and let me know on social media that you've done the workout and you can use these tags on social media so you can do this one done then Lucy's squad and then Lucy's tones tone zone um, and if you like the workout please give it a thumbs up if you're not already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so then every day um, when I'm running these challenges you'll get a notification to come and start training with me so well done and I'll see you tomorrow because we're going to be toning a completely different zone if you guys are following my workouts, I've now put it together in an ebook because in my ebook, then I can cover nutrition as well, and it's got you video links because the results I cannot tell you that you guys have been sending in have been utterly amazing. And I think the reason being is these workouts are so easy to stick to because you can do them at home, they are just really super short, but they are super sculpting, super toning, they burn loads of calories, and what you're telling me is that you're enjoying working out for the first time ever and you know what the brilliant thing there is you are not going to yo-yo up and down your weight is then going to you are going to be able to maintain a healthy weight um, so in the book it has 26 different workouts you've got photos before and afters photos of the exercises you've also got video links so you can click straight onto a video plus there is a 14 day healthy eating plan along with a shopping list and lots, lots more. Um, and it is available now on my website and it is ideal for absolutely everyone. So if you're a complete beginner and you wanna just learn how to be fit and healthy for the rest of your life, to even if you're a fitness bunny, then this book is ideal because I also have different variations for different fitness levels and it is available on my website, which is lwrfitness.com.